Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on IT Dot Tutorials. I am Yosef Botnar. I'm continuing uh, the series uh, of uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server 2019 uh, tutorials. So this tutorial has the goal uh, to teach you about uh, how to create a database uh, using uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management uh, Studio. So uh, you have uh, two options uh, regard to create a new database. Either you're going to use uh, Transact SQL uh, Server statements or you're going to use the uh, graphical uh, interface. Let's uh, use the first option, uh, the Transact SQL Server statements. To do so, you have uh, to launch uh, the SQL editor uh, with a click on New Query, and this uh, will launch the SQL editor. And uh, here uh, you have to write uh, your uh, transact SQL uh, statements uh, to create a uh, database. So uh, to do so, you have to write uh, create and after a database a keyword uh, and at the end you have to write the name of uh, your database like uh, student data yeah and uh, to make uh, this statement to create a database uh, to be active and to create a database you have to select uh, this uh, statement and click on this uh, button execute this uh, messages uh, window appeared as you can see and uh, here is uh, our message received from a manage, uh, management studio commands uh, completed successfully that uh, means our database named student data was created let's go here and uh, expand this component databases which contains our database here it should be our database in this uh, component uh, database snapshots but uh, as you can see now our database uh, doesn't appear yet so i'm going to shrink uh, this component again and right click and refresh and let's see now yeah uh, Always, when you create a new database using Transact uh, SQL statements, you have uh, to refresh uh, this component uh, databases uh, to be able to view your uh, database uh, created. So here is our uh, database created uh, a few seconds ago. You can extend this uh, with a click on this uh, plus uh, button. Uh, when uh, the component is uh, extended, uh, the plus uh, will be changed uh, in uh, into minus uh, a button as you can uh, see and uh, here you can see the, all the components uh, which are part of uh, uh, our database uh, student data the most important is this uh, component uh, tables uh, also you you have uh, to know you should know that uh, we can rename this uh, database uh, using uh, transact sql uh, statement so uh, you have to use uh, this uh, statement uh, if you want to rename your database or alter the database the name of the current database student data yeah and uh, after you write these uh, keywords modify name eagle and after the eagle sign you write the new name what you want to apply to your database uh, so let it be student or let it be school yeah to be a completely different name okay uh, so let's uh, select this uh, statement and click on this button execute here you go if you go down here in the messages you will see uh, the database name school 
has been set. That means uh, the name was already changed using this uh, statement, all the database, the name of uh, current database, followed by this uh, keyword modify name, uh, equal sign, and after the equal sign, the new name, the renamed database. Yeah. So again, let's shrink this. And let's uh, refresh it. Here you go. Expand again. And now is the new name for our database uh, from uh, student data to uh, school. So this is the new name of uh, our database, uh, which was uh, uh, applied after uh, uh, it was renamed uh, formal database student data using uh, this uh, statement. Also, we can uh, delete the database using uh, this statement, uh, a drop, again, database keyword, and the name of database is called, all right. Yeah. And uh, if uh, I'm going to select our database, let's see what uh, is going to happen. Select the statement, click on execute, and as you can see, uh, we receive error. Cannot drop database school because it is currently in use. So that means uh, we can't uh, uh, delete a database uh, which is in use. So we have to change uh, the database in use uh, from school to master, for example. And now let's execute again this uh, statement. And in this, uh, at this time, the uh, statement was executed uh, by success, as you can see here. Commands completed successful. So uh, if uh, I give again a refresh on the database component, you can see our uh, database was uh, removed completely from uh, uh, from a management studio, was uh, deleted uh, completely. So uh, this is uh, the way to create, to rename and delete a database using uh, transact SQL statements. But uh, you can use also uh, the graphical uh, interface to uh, create, rename and delete a database. How you can do this? So select uh, this component databases, right click and select new database. And here, write the name of uh, your database. I'm going to write again student data. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the uh, SQL service uh, created two files here. Uh, sometimes you need to extend these uh, columns yeah, because they are too narrow. Uh, so uh, the first uh, file, uh, student data, which is a rows uh, file type, will contain uh, actually the database. And another file is this uh, file, student dat, uh, data underscore log, uh, which uh, is a log uh, file type. This uh, file uh, will uh, contain the track of all the transactions regard to this uh, file student uh, data regard to our database uh, student uh, uh, data you can uh, change uh, the name of the file if you want uh, but uh, i think uh, you'd better leave uh, the default name um, and uh, let's go further here uh, so this is the uh, primary file and uh, this uh, file group uh, is not uh, applicable for uh, the log file, as you can uh, see. Uh, this file group uh, is applied. Uh, now we've got just uh, one file, but uh, if your uh, database uh, has uh, a very big size, you can uh, use uh, multiple files. Uh, yeah. Uh, and further, uh, we have the initial size. This can be changed, as you can see. You can uh, increase or decrease the initial size, which uh, is uh, 8 um, megabytes. And here you have this option, auto growth, uh, by uh, 
64 megabytes and the max size is unlimited you can change uh, these uh, settings if you want click on this button and here you uh, have the settings uh, the auto growth is uh, enabled and uh, the file can uh, growth in percent or uh, megabytes now this is the default uh, setting in megabytes and the maximum file size uh, can be limited or uh, unlimited uh, the default uh, setting is unlimited i'm going to leave the default uh, settings and at the end you will see the path where for uh, these files you can change the path you uh, give a click on this button and you can change change the path if you want for these uh, files so i'm going to leave the default path and uh, when uh, you finished with all this uh, you click on ok and as you can see our database was created here so you can uh, rename this uh, database uh, select a database uh, what you want to rename uh, right click and uh, select rename rename Cool. Yeah. Enter. or you can uh, delete the database and uh, click on OK and our database was uh, deleted uh, from uh, Management uh, Studio also uh, if you want to have a look uh, in the location in the folder where uh, the files regard to your uh, database uh, are uh, located you just select uh, server name, right click, uh, select properties, and here, where is this database uh, settings, uh, you have uh, the default location, as you can see, database, the uh, default locations. Uh, select uh, one of these uh, path here, and copy with Ctrl C, release file explorer, and uh, here, paste that path and enter and this will take you inside the folder where uh, uh, sql server will uh, put all the files uh, regard to uh, database uh, now uh, we don't have uh, any database created uh, uh, by us uh, because i uh, deleted uh, the uh, database uh, created but uh, quickly i'm going to create another database new database gonna to name it again student data yeah and okay and here you go our database was created let's go uh, here uh, where is this uh, folder where actually um, SQL Server uh, put uh, all the files yeah so here is our database as you can see and the files regarding to our database so uh, what uh, I have created a few seconds ago, as you can see, student data, and here uh, are the files, uh, student data, uh, with this extension, MDF, which uh, stands for um, main uh, data file. Uh, this is the file uh, which will contain the database, and uh, another file with this uh, extension, uh, LDF, which uh, stands for um, log data file, which will contain the track uh, of all the transactions regarding to our uh, data uh, base. So that's all uh, regard to create, uh, rename, and delete a database. Uh, hopefully you uh, understand uh, what uh, I was saying in this video tutorial. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.